Rich Picks Daily is an online community for traders to exchange smart, straightforward, and profitable investment ideas. And join us today at richpicksdaily.com. Subscribe to us on YouTube to learn useful stock trading secrets and discover the next 10 bagger. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I wanted to bring you some big news from Pure Extracts. So we've been covering Pure Extracts since IPO. It IPO'd and ran up to almost 90 cents was a huge success. A lot of investors took profits, clearly, and it's come all the way back down and is even lower than it was pre-IPO. So it's like the lowest it's ever been. So if you're looking for a cannabis play or a psychedelics play that has a lot of upside, this is a company that right now is lower than it's ever been. So if you're looking for a bottom, this is clearly around a bottom. Now, there could it could definitely go lower. Anything's possible. But I also believe that the upside from these levels is tremendous for long-term investors and patient investors that want to see returns. We're already seeing that all across the board today, all across small caps are starting to bounce off of bottoms. Since we've seen a major pullback in small caps, we're starting to see a lot of them pull back up. Now, when I'm looking at companies, I don't just look at the price. I look at the news. I look at the fundamentals. I look at the financials. I look at the share structure. This is a company that's fundamentally sound. Unfortunately, they're in two sectors that have lost steam, cannabis and psychedelics. That's probably why they've pulled back. But let's really look into the news, okay? Let's look at the fundamentals. Pure Extracts commences production of 25,000 vape cartridges. This means they are starting to grow their production and revenue will follow in preparation for retail distribution. So they're just getting ready to really launch to retail. So Pure Extracts Technologies Corp, pull in Canada, P-U-L-L, P-R-X-T-F in America, A-2-Q-J-A-J -A -J in Frankfurt, Germany, a plant-based extraction company focused on cannabis, hemp, and functional mushrooms, and the rapidly emerging psychedelic sector is pleased to announce that its wholly owned subsidiary, Pure Extracts Manufacturing Corp., has begun production of 25,000 vape cartridges for the Canadian retail market. Now, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and information purposes. Please always do your due diligence, always do your research, consult a financial advisor. Penny stocks, small cap stocks are inherently risky. There's a lot of volatility in the market right now. There's a lot of panic selling happening, shorting happening. Stocks are going down and up all over the place, more so down than up. So just be aware of that and understand the risks associated to everything we talk about and every single pick, especially small caps, under a dollar when we bring them to you, okay? What I suggest you do with a company like this, put them on your watch list, put them on your radar. It's been coming down. Wait for a trend reversal before you position yourself because you may see some more downward pressure. Demand for Pure Extracts, Pure Pulls branded 510 vape cartridges or 510 vape cartridges is strong within the provincial markets. The company estimates retail sales revenue for this production run will be approximately $750,000. The cartridges will be filled with a section of some of the company's 30 plus proprietary full spectrum oils, FSOs, formulations, including Super Lemon Haze, Granddaddy Purple, and Girl Scout Cookies slash GSK. The vape 510 cartridges are produced by a global manufacturer and adhere to the highest North American test standards. These products were specifically chosen for the quality of their component parts, their fit and finish, and their performance characteristics when, pa when paired with pure extracts, oil concentrates. Pure Extract CEO Ben Nikolaevsky remarked, we are excited about preparing to ship our first vape cartridges cart orders to the provincial distribution channels. We have created the high quality FSO vape products that consumers now demand and believe that we will quickly build brand loyalty with both legacy and new entrants in the vape space about Pure Extracts Technologies Corp. Pure Extracts features an all new state of the art processing facility located just 20 minutes north of world famous Whistler, British Columbia. The bespoke facility has been constructed to European Union GMP standards, aiming towards expert sales of products and formulations, including those currently restricted in Canada into European jurisdictions where they are legally available. On September 25th, 2020, Pure Extracts was granted its standard processing license by Health Canada under the Cannabis Act, and the company's stock began trading 
on the Canadian Securities Exchange, CSC, on November 5th, 2020. So here's their website. We can click on their website and we'll go to it real quickly. Now, one of the things I like about this is they are just starting to put everything in place to have revenue. And then once that revenue hits the balance sheet, that could be a major catalyst for the stock. We've seen the stock much higher and it's been coming down. So in my opinion, the upside could be absolutely tremendous. When you're looking for stocks, you're always looking to buy low and sell high. Unfortunately, stocks don't always do what you want to do. Initially, this stock went way up and then it's come back down. Let's take a look. It went way up when it first came out. You can see we have it all marked. It went way up from day one where it was around, let's say, 40 cents. It went to 89 cents. That was the highest it's ever been. Huge success. Everyone was excited. But then what happened was the psychedelics pulled back. The cannabis stocks pulled back and we saw this huge pullback here and you can clearly see that we haven't seen it go up yet. So let's remove this line because that's clearly not happening anytime soon yet. And we've come all the way down to the now the all time low. So we're now at an all time low for pure extracts. So if you're an investor and you like this company and you believe it's going to grow and you like the long-term potential, this is the lowest it's ever been. So this might be an amazing entry point. I'm not suggesting you buy it now, put it on your watches, put it on your radar. I'm just suggesting that from here, we've already seen it at 89 cents when it had no revenue, right? It went to 89 cents pre-revenue and right now we're at 34 cents. So the upside from this level, if you believe stocks try to show their hand, and if you believe, and I do believe that in the future, this will be at least a $1 stock, the upside from these levels is around 200%, which is incredible return on investment. It might take a little while, maybe it goes down a little bit lower, but I think the upside is around 200%. Love to know what you guys think. It's your boy Rich from Rich to be Live. If you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring the winners and we bring them to you first. We brought you this winner, it went up, investors took profit, now it's come down like most cannabis and psychedelic stocks. This is a company that's doing both, and it's just about to start taking that revenue, putting it on the balance sheet, and I believe that can be a huge catalyst. That remains to be seen, but I will be here to tell you the story. You can see the RSI is in a screaming buy zone, currently at around 18. That is what we call a screaming buy zone for the RSI, but we do not see a trend reversal yet. So we may see a little bit more downward pressure before we see upward pressure. In my opinion, you always want to look for a trend reversal before you position yourself. Or you might say, hey, this is in a screaming buy zone. Maybe now I'm going to start taking a position. I'd love to know what you guys think. Comment on the video, share it everywhere, and subscribe. This is your boy Rich from Rich to be Live, P U L L in Canada, and in America, P R X T F, Pure Extract Technologies Corp. You can see it's up slightly in America. But you can see also it is pretty much at the lowest it's ever been in America, despite the fact that it's actually hit a high of a dollar. And that was when they had no revenue. And like we've been saying consistently, they're about to have revenue hit the balance sheet for the first time. And that could be a huge catalyst. Lots of big things coming. Stay tuned. More news coming around the corner. It's your boy Rich from Rich to be live. And I'm out.